So good afternoon. We are back again with the second of three uploads on the channel today. So make sure you go back and check out the one I did about Renato Sanchez and the Portuguese international is absolutely loving life at the moment. Just won the league and title with Lille, smashing it at the Euros in action against Belgium tonight. That game should be insane. Uh, loads of decent players on uh, on show tonight. So make sure you check that game out. I will be fully watching that one. That's for sure. And I will be back again at 10 o'clock straight after that game with another update. Uh, make sure you're subscribed. Big up to every single one of you that has done that. I do appreciate each and every one of you. Make sure you stick a like on the video as well. Always mad love, man. You lot are insane with the likes. So keep liking, keep sharing, and make sure you're following my Instagram as well. I'm doing a giveaway on there next month. So if you want to be involved, you've got to follow the gram. It's in the description, Lee Gunner 82. But... Let's speak about my mate, my specialist subject. I could go on Mastermind and talk about Granite Xhaka and end up being a Mastermind champion, the amount of info I know about this bloke. Uh, but he is still currently at the Euros. They are playing France tomorrow, I believe. And um, I think that would be the end of the road for Switzerland, if I'm honest. Um, although saying that, the game last night, Austria um, ended up only losing 2-1 in the end. I didn't watch the game. I've seen some of the highlights, but Austria had a goal disallowed, VAR, um, and it went all the way through to extra time. So fair play to Austria, man. You just never know at these tournaments. Um, but I do think that um, Granit Xhaka will be exiting the tournament. And um, that would then mean, if you believe all the reports that are out there, that he will complete his move to Roma. The deal is apparently done. £15.5 million pounds plus add-ons um, for Granit Xhaka to go to Roma. And... It's always been funny when I've seen these stories because I do believe he is going to move. I think he is gone. I think it's all but done. And they're just waiting for the Euros or for him to exit the Euros so then they can just fast track that, really. I do think that is the case. I genuinely believe this story to be true. Uh, it is only my opinion, by the way, before anyone starts crying. Um, the, the, <laughs> the stories are out there. I'm giving you my take on them. Don't know why people get so hurt over it. It's my opinion on it. Give me yours in the comments. If you don't agree, leave it in the comments. Let me know. It's no dramas, no problemas. And um, yeah, 15.5 million pounds for Granite Xhaka. And I've seen a lot of people say like, like, really, this is too undervalued. It's like, it should be 30 million. Granite Xhaka has never been a 30 million pound footballer. Can we just have that right? Granite Xhaka was never a 30 million pound footballer when we signed him. And he certainly isn't a 30 million pound footballer now. And I am so glad this bloke looks like he is off. I genuinely am. It ends a run of five seasons or four or five. I don't even know how long he's been here. It's been too long, put it that way, of just absolute comedy in midfield. Error after error. Um, stupidness with his rash decisions. And I'm glad he's going. I really am. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm glad he's going. I am genuinely can't stand him. want him gone sick of the sight of him and i'll be glad to see the back of him and hopefully that means that we can then elevate our midfield on because for everything that granite Xhaka can't do there's quite a few footballers out there in fact hundreds of footballers out there in the same position that can do everything that i'd want my midfielder to do and the quicker he goes the quicker we get the money the quicker we can start going and doing something else because i do believe that we're going to bring some midfielders in the level that they bring in might not be the level that we want but I do think that they are going to bring some midfielders in. Um, the benchmark should not be better than Granite Xhaka for me, because let's be real, we're probably all better than Granite Xhaka because we can use a right foot as well as a left. I'm a left left footed player as well, uh, but I can use my right. He can't. We see that against Burnley this season where he passed uh, Chris Wood straight in. And um, was, was it Chris Wood? I can't remember. And he tapped it straight into an empty net. We've seen it multiple times, all of the, just just the shambolic, passes that have led to goals he's had more errors lead into a goal in the Premier League since he's been here that is actually insane when you think about that bearing in mind he is a midfield player you would think that a defender would have more errors than a midfielder but oh no not at the banter club uh, Granite Xhaka has more errors than anyone in the Premier League um, but listen um, 15.5 million I don't care how much it is just take the money fly him over, see you later, go and stick that into some other player, make sure we move our club forward. Like I said, the benchmark should not be just better than Granit Xhaka. It should be the best player that we can attract 
in that position to elevate our team. It shouldn't just be the bare minimum, oh, it's better than Granite. That's where we've gone wrong for years. Oh, he's better than him, so we have him. No, it should be the best you can get, not just settling for second, third, fourth best. You know, if you do that, you end up sliding down the table like we've done over the years. And it's kind of sad to see where we're at. But hopefully next couple of seasons, we can start getting back up there. And that starts this summer. I want to see action. I want to see big signings. I want to see money spent. Whether I'm going to see it or not remains to be seen. And as it stands, we ain't spent anything. So it'd be very interesting to see what this football club does going forward. But 15 million for Granite Xhaka plus add-ons. <laughs> Fangirls are in bits, really, aren't they? Especially when Lucas Torreira is valued at more money and barely played. So, yeah, man, he'll probably look great in Italy. Um, he can do all of his stupid passes. Jose Mourinho loves a player like that, um, like a you know a midfielder like Cambiasso, um, Matic, you know, players like that that just they're not that great, but they just do a job that Jose sees that they can do. Well, he's in for a rude awakening with Granite Xhaka because I don't think he's that great at all. I don't think he can do some of the stuff that Jose is going to expect him to do. And I'll tell you something now, if he starts walking off the pitch, giving it all that and all that over in Italy, good luck, mate. Really, genuinely good luck because their ultras are mad. Big up all the ultras at Roma. <laughs> and uh, yeah, hopefully... Um, he goes out there and has a good career because as long as he's not at Arsenal, good luck to him. Uh, whilst he's at Arsenal, I wish him nothing but see you later because he ain't good enough. And at the end of the day, when the game kicks off, yes, you want to back your players. Yes, you want to, um, you, you want your players to do well. But how many more times are we going to give this guy a chance? I'm sick to death of chance after chance for Granit Xhaka. So it is best that he leaves for him. It's best that he leaves for us. And um, yeah, See you later, Granite. Go and have a good career at Roma, mate. And um, hopefully, hopefully, we move forward from this attaching um, just adulation to bang average footballers. And we can actually start buying some proper footballers that deserve all the, all the adulation and uh, all the hero status. What do I know? I'm just a numpty YouTuber. Uh, but listen, big up to everyone who's watched. Make sure you smack a like on the video. I do always appreciate that. Like I said, you lot are insane. The level of interaction on this channel is unbelievable. So thank you very much. Uh, make sure you're subscribed. Always appreciate every one of you. Over 58.1, nearly 58.2. We're literally that close to 58.2. So get subscribing, people. Share the content around. Don't forget the giveaway is on Instagram, not on YouTube. So Instagram, Lee Gunner 82 That link is down in the description down below. Make sure you go and follow that immediately. If it's the first thing you do today, well, second after clicking on this video, and um, I'll be back again at 10. Go and check out the video I did earlier about Renato Sanchez as well. And uh, all have a blessed Sunday. We're out of here. Arteta out, Southgate out.